RM Beers, we have another update for you. We're gonna continue going on our 2021 update. You get to see even more females now. So stay tuned. So we have a whole bunch of animals. We still have that whole rack of females. Hopefully you watched in the last two videos. We're gonna go through another rack. It's a sea serpent's rack here with more females. And then we're gonna do another one with even more females. Um, it's got a lot of female ball pythons. So let's get into it. A lot of these girls already are just ate like yesterday or even today. So I'm not gonna mess with them too much. But this is the Killer Bee Fire. Or what? Is that what that was? Killer Bee Fire? <laughs> Man, that head is really white. And like, watch out, it's yellow, but it's like very clean and uh, it's really nice. So a killer, uh, it's, a, it's a firefly, but. Firefly spider or a Killer Bee Fire. Or Killer Bee spy, Fire. <laughs> so it's a super pastel spider fire super pastel spider fire so killer bee fire or uh super fly spider <laughs> but she's beautiful um and a lot of people poo poo the spider but she has no head wobble she doesn't have any issues eating um when we look at the spiders we uh we don't breed the ones that have much of a head wobble. So, what's that? Now this girl is huge. And this is our gravel female. Big girl. She's big. We are hoping for some cool eggs from her this year. So it's just a gravel female. She's big. So. Obviously, everybody's big into gravel these days. An asphalt. What? An asphalt. An asphalt. Why do you put that weird? Uh, so that's what Billy says. He says asphalt. He doesn't like ash asphalt. Asphalt. Actually, the southern Canadian. <laughs> the southern Texas Canadian. Um, this one is a het exanthic het clown. So it's a double het exanthic clown. All these again are females. She's big. Xanthic clown. We are in the Xanthic game now. <laughs> I think, what are we doing with a male for her? I feel like we need to. We have a male double hat VP Xanthic clown that we're putting to her. So hopefully we make double visuals. That is true. <laughs> All right. This girl. We need a few. All these just ate, like I said. So this is a vanilla orange dream leopard, 100% head clown, or I'm sorry, 50% head clown. We're hoping to prove her out this year when she's breeding. And uh, I think we're introducing her already, but we're gonna put her to a visual clown of sorts. I'm not sure what, what, which one we're doing. We're doing, uh, well, but last year we paired her to the fire spot nose possible triple hit holy right. grail but she didn't go so right right we if we're changing the pairing for this season then we gotta talk about that <laughs> that is uh, true she that would be an interesting one i'm i just keep on thinking of these snakes that we're we gonna be getting soon we could put our killer rubber clown to it and if they're all pastels then we know that it took the clutch and it's all 100 percent Eh, it's more fun to try with the long odds. There's no pastel in it. Yeah, but. So this is a pastel calico Russo yellow belly. And Shed, we know you guys were saying how much you love watching the in Shed snakes, so we said so we're gonna try to do that more <laughs> for you. So we got Russo in here, pastel calico, Russo yellow belly. Fun stuff, like that female. Maybe because the bins are bigger, they look, the snakes sometimes look smaller because we moved on to the CB70s. But here is a super Enchi female. Oh my goodness. She is 
just smoking. I don't know if the camera can really get everything that I'm seeing, but she's like golden. Her whole body's pretty golden. And she has a cool head stamp and the bright oranges. Man, I am excited about having super Enchi stuff. Ryan said in the last video that uh, I like Enchi. We put Enchi in everything. It's kind of like Frank's hot sauce. Sriracha. <laughs> like Sriracha. So here's another um, super Enchi and you can kind of see how golden she is here. Beautiful head stand. You're probably getting a bad shadow, huh? Yeah, that was a bad shadow for a second, but let's try this. Again, we're not moving them around too much because they just ate. But we wanted to keep going down the 2021 update. And we're burning through these. Um, so you guys can see some really cool stuff that we got going on here. Here is a spider blade pet clown. So it's 100% head clown, but it's a blade spider head clown. You see that head stamp is so cool. Did you get a good shot of the head stamp? Or you can look at the next one because we have two of them. <laughs> but we don't have a ton of spider in our collection, but we have a little bit. Um, just like everybody that has been around for a while, I think. Out of like 80 some adult breeder females we have five <laughs> yeah it's true so here's another one the another spider blade clown or het clown i'm sorry but uh super reduced yeah Crazy. she's and she's in shed so you can see that head stamp showing her off so yeah i'm trying not to mess with her because they just ate but she's in shed Give her a little water. Just glistening. <clears throat> okay. Moving on down the line. Let's see if I can get bit. Even though this girl ate, she still is like fired up, ready to go. So this is a Superfly Calico Hidden Gene Woma. So it's super pastel. Fire Calico Hidden Gene Woma, and this is the one that also has that like, erased out. Yeah, this has the uh, weird stuff happening when we fader. Paint. This has fader in it. Uh, it could be Krypton or Cryptic or something. Not Krypton, but it could be Cryptic in this possibly, because um, her and her sister are the ones we get. We got some pretty weird clutches out of last year, so we'll see how it goes for this upcoming year. She's beautiful though. Super, super white. An eraser. Let's see. Jump back up here. Oh. This is everyone's favorite. This is, whoops. The poop egg girl. The girl that produced the poop egg for us last year. So, this is a super fire. So, black eyed Lucy. And she has Arroyo in it, in her, which we proved out last year. What else does she have in her? And pastel. And pastel. I feel like there's something else in there. It's possible leopard in there, but we didn't hit any leopard. Yeah, I don't think it proved out for leopard. And it's also posset for Xanthic, right? but we're not. It's a line of Xanthic that we don't work with, so not really worried yeah. about that too much. So, but she's pretty. She's getting more and more spots on her as she ages. And uh, yeah, she produced a poop egg. And today when we spot cleaned her before this video, she produced another one that didn't hatch. But it was big enough to. <laughs> oh, I have breed ball pythons, it's all glamorous. You're really just cleaning a whole bunch of snake poop. I mean, when I say you are, I mean Ryan is. But mm. <laughs> so here's another, the other sister for the super pastel fire calico hidden gemoma plus the other whatever gene that is that erases the back. But she's in shed, so she's a little bit more dull than normal. 
very everything's eating like a lot our rat bill has been crazy hey if anybody's uh, getting rid of some rats let us know comment down below if you need some uh, need some rat removal <laughs> and you're in our area I guess all right here is a, a pied het albino this is a pied head albino big girl for us she's also in shed it's funny that we don't work with regular albino we don't but we picked up a big girl um she hasn't produced for us yet but we're hoping this year she does but she's pied and we don't have any other albino in our collection and we're not going to put candy to her um we want to make sure that we keep the albino and the candy line separate um nothing against candino stuff but it's not something that we want to do so she is a pretty pied though i mean i like her pattern and all but we will see i don't know that we will work with albino um but who knows we get into stuff all the time here is a ghi fire arroyo female that is in shed and they look so cool we just uh we have a one up for sale um this could be might not be arroyo ryan thinks but definitely we, ghi fire we're still working to prove it out yeah we have to prove it out to see if she has arroyo in it in her but they're so bright and the dorsals are so bright and blushing so great looking and the color of the whole snake is so great it stinks that she's in the shed but you see all the hooking the angry temperament just kidding that's not usual of albinos or albinos of arroyos but uh ghi fire possible arroyo i don't know we have to look at that one one more time but when she was uh, a baby we were like definitely arroyo and then she aged we're like i don't know maybe maybe not and then we got this girl one of ryan's favorites in this rack And this is a Pastel Enchi GHI Mojave. Pastel Enchi GHI Mojave. So the GHI Mojave is really cool. Pretty dark snake with a stripe down the back. Um, the Pastel brightens everything up and uh, the Enchi breaks up that dorsal stripe. So kind of gets uh, this here. It's a pretty powerful female though. We think it's great stuff. Um, she hasn't gone for us yet, right? So she, this is going to be our first year. And we have a lot of females that are breeder size and breeding this year. Exciting stuff. The last one in this rack is one that we just moved up, actually. So this is... Could have switched a couple things around, I guess. But this is the Pastel Freeway. Or pa yeah, Pastel Freeway. So, Pastel Freeway is a pastel gravel yellow belly. No, that's pastel asphalt yellow belly. Good job. You're gonna <laughs> actually, have Billy coming down here and punch you in the face. Actually, <laughs> when I started to say what it was, I was watching your lips and you're like trying to mouth it to me and it just messed me up i'm never trying to mouth anything to you he's always mouthing things mouthing this is a pastel asphalt asphalt yellow belly but it's the pastel freeway that we got from mutation creation she's pretty um but everything's eating in our collection right now pretty much we have a couple females that i think that might be going off we'll see thank you guys so much for joining us and watching this video with us we have still some more updates to show you hopefully you guys are liking it comment down below what your favorite animal was for this whole episode and uh you know hit the like button if you like steve if you don't like steve i mean come on i guess you don't have to hit the like button but who doesn't like steve make sure you smash that subscribe button and uh you know make sure you're telling your friends and family about us we're trying to get out there It'll help us out. Watch Herp House Rock. We got some great episodes out there for you guys. Lots of fun information and uh, great guests on. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you on the next one.
Wake so, up, Ben. Wake up. So, <laughs> it's a pastel asphalt grab. Uh, pastel asphalt yellow belly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Actually, like Brad Pitt, I'm always eating something, but I'm holding something all the time. Okay. Yeah.